two weeks we were interviewed in, here in Thoreau with Shaheen Malik, uh, John Healy uh, and Bill Revel. Um, everybody seems quite chipper in the Labour Party coming down the Thoreau, what is that? Well, because we've, we've got a fight on our hands, but the country faces a really big choice. And the question is, do we su sustain the economic recovery, because just about everything depends on that, or is a government elected that's going to cut spending now, which would run the risk of putting us back into a recession? And, you know, it's a really, really fundamental choice that people face. And I think when people look back on what's happened over the last 18 months, they can see Gordon Brown and Alistair Darling have taken the right decisions in difficult economic times to help people, and David Cameron and George Osborne have called it wrong on every occasion. And it's what you do when you have the responsibility that makes a difference. So I think that's why uh, you know, we're fighting to win this election. We're determined to do so. You mentioned hard choices. Is what has been described as an unsustainable ferry keeping that alive? Is that a hard choice? Well, I, I'm here today because there's been this terrific local campaign. Conservative controlled Thurrock says, well, we want to halve the money that we put into it. Now, people rely on this ferry, uh, particularly for going to work. If it didn't exist, the round trip that away, over the bridge and back, well, it would be impossible for people. So, what did Carl do? Carl didn't say, didn't just, you know, run a petition, although he did, and lots of people signed it. He went off to the port of Tilbury and said, look, Thurrock wants to take some of the money away. Can you help? Tilbury said, yeah, we will help. So successful was the campaign that Thurrock have now decided to take a second look and have withdrawn their proposal. Now, that shows the power of local campaigning. That shows the power of a Labour candidate who works hard on behalf of the people he seeks to represent. Carl's the kind of person that we want in Parliament. In respect to the environment, here in Thurrock, yeah. there's a lot of challenges with, with, with the green belt and, and sometimes a lot of confusion and a lot of anxiety. You know. um, how, how, can, how can Labour assuage people's anxieties regarding building on the green belt? Well, we're determined to protect the green belt and actually the, the total amount of green belt in the country has gone up a bit in the last few years. We've also been very successful in putting a lot of development onto brownfield land, of which there is still quite a lot, because it's really important that we have economic development because that's where the jobs of the future are going to come from but we also have to look after the natural world, biodiversity, special places of which Essex has got a lot because you know they help to lift our spirits and nurture our souls they're also very very important for wildlife uh, for helping to give us clean water the soil on which of course a lot of food is grown farming agriculture really important to the future of the country and the world